Hey guys, it's Nick with Technic, and today we hope this one sucks hard. This is the Eufy Handheld Vacuum by Anchor. Let's go. So we were strolling through Walmart like normal. I think we spend too much time there maybe. And we saw this. I don't know what the real full price retail is on this. 37. $37, how about it? You're right again. But as I strolled through Walmart, I saw about 10 of these on a display marked down to $22. But I saw it and I thought, hey, you can never have enough handheld vacuums, especially when you're like me and then you're a slob. So let's just briefly recap what we're looking at here and then we'll open this up and we're gonna live test this to the best of our ability. Quickly grab and tackle accidental mess using the 5500 PA suction power. If you're out there purposefully being a slob, you're gonna need a full vac. This is a handheld for accidents, okay? And it says it also comes with a built-in crevice tool, the crevasse, as Jack Black says. I don't know that there's anything else on here we need to talk about before we get going. We've got directions, don't need them. We've got a USB cable, oh God, oh God, here we go. Um, for a split second, I thought this was a remote control. <laughs> I was like, hold up. This is our two-in-one crevasse tool. Uh, so we've got a hard tip, we've got a bristle tip, and we can, if you pull hard enough, you got something else. And then we have the Eufy handheld itself. Now, let's just get a look at it. It's kind of got, I don't know if this is supposed to come off of this. It does. Okay, so we have a cup. So while you clean, you can just have refresh, fill this with Jack Daniels, a little bit of Coke. You just vacuum away. It's built in. You're done. Next time you're cleaning, you're ready for your drink. That's brilliant. They're on a whole other level with this stuff at Anchor. Um, we have our O3 button here that we can see that's gonna clean and purify our air. And we've got a power button. That's really it in the way of how this thing operates. Inside of here, there is a filter. Now, I don't have any idea how long this filter might last. These filters, this type, are normally washable. So we should be able to wash this and extend the life of this for some at least reasonable amount of time. Hey John, how about some debris? I need some stuff that I can make a mess with and we can see what's going on. So right over here, what do we have? We brought down some goodies. We're just gonna take a cracker here. We're gonna show off our strength. I've been hitting the gym pretty good. You wanna try the, like a heart attachment? All right, there it is. Let's see what happens. All right, let's start small. All right, it's getting that stuff no problem. Wow, I might actually clean the house. But let's see what got picked up. Here we go. If you emptied this once or twice, you'd probably be okay grabbing all of this cracker up. All right, let's think if there's something else we want to test here, because I don't really know. I'm not good at making messes. Uh, you are a bald-faced liar. So let's go, give me, what is this, rice? What is this? Lentils. So to all you kids out there that are sick and tired of your health conscious parents shoving this stuff down your throat, all you need is one of these. Get it for them for Christmas. Dad, I think mom would really enjoy one of these Eufy's by Anchor. And then as soon as the parents are out of the house, you take care of all the lentils. Like so. Now, let's just get nasty with it. John, you got a keyboard over there that we don't care about? Yeah, give me cookies and a keyboard. Cookies and keyboard. It's a new flavor coming from Ben and Jerry's later this year for the avid gamer who likes sweets. So with the crevice tool, we're gonna be able to get into tight spaces. Now this one is gonna do better in like a car where I need to get down between the seat and the side and it gives me kind of a hard uh, thing, tool that I can kind of wedge in flat against the surface or like in between couch cushions, for example. But this, this soft bristle is gonna help to kind of agitate and bring up the debris and then hopefully get caught into the air current and sucked in. So first thing that we gotta do is we gotta dirty up our keyboard. You want me to do like a Cookie Monster impression? Yeah, yeah sure. I'm on a diet. This will go over well. Love cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> you gotta get back to work and get those reports typed up. 
I'm going back on my cookie. All right, we pull it out. This would be a perfect time for a little bit of milk. All right. So on the counter, on the desk. On the bar, on the floor. No issue. Now let's snap this in this. Painfully. Oh, there we go. It's all about the angle. That boy ain't right. All right, now. We are now, I feel like Power Rangers when they soup up into the next machine. It's Morphin time! Tiger Zord, convert to warrior mode, now! Ranger. Yuffie! <laughs> okay, and here we go. Let's see if this can get it out of the keyboard. Wow, actually right off the, now these keys aren't super deep, but. All right, let's take our little nozzle out. Let me dump all this and we can see what we picked up here. Look at that, would you just look at that? Okay, so this one's a little weird. We decided we wanna test the uh, pet function of this. So we grabbed a an item that's laying here, and we're going to actually take this right over there and rub this all over our, our Siberian Husky. That sounds really weird, Peter. take it easy. We're gonna rub this all over the Husky, get it covered in hair, and then we're gonna see how this attacks it. John, would you rub down our dog? Thank you. You don't need to film, oh God, we're filming John rubbing down the dog. The dog seems to be enjoying it, thinking that it's just play and doesn't know that we're reviewing a product. Okay, and if you've ever had a Husky, you understand that hair um, is a concern. Here we go on the dog hair. Let's, let's go across it. So here's the deal not the best I've ever seen for picking up pet hair for a handheld and what you're going to be doing with this I think it's probably okay in a pinch this thing at a full charge has about 13 minutes of use but here's the struggle if you do get this at the end of the charge and, and it goes beyond the 13 minutes and this thing dies it takes three and a half hours to charge now I would like to be able to tell my significant other that uh, it died and that's why I didn't do anything for three and a half hours and maybe that's brilliant um, so you're kind of dealing with the time constraint there. Uh, let's see if we got enough charge to just kind of zap this uh, pet hair right off the top of this desktop. When it's not ingrained into a fabric, it does a great job picking up just loose dander. And again, obviously that's stored here. And our filter has been given a nice, maybe that's worth seeing before we go. We've vacuumed up lentils and crackers and cookies. And let's see what our filter looks like. And that makes me lose my appetite. I was gonna eat right after this video. Oh, the bowl is even That's better. Um, so a lot of, um, so I mean the filter's doing its job, right? Like that's what you wanna see. Here's the thing, uh, we got it for 22 bucks. Full retail price is $60 on Amazon. Do you think that this is worth it? The Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H11 Pure. Tell us what you think in the comments or if you're using it and you like it now, or if you're a representative of Anchor and think we really just screwed this whole video up and didn't showcase this. Guys, we appreciate all the support and you stopping by and checking out the video. I'm Nick with Technic. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>